Konnichiwa, me and this Tisakura. You're watching PuckyCons. Today's timid first person video is going to be on a PlayStation Vita game. And that is Sai Mado Monogatari. Alright, well, this is a game that I got super lucky on. Um, I bought the US version digitally when it was super on sale. And then I happened to come across this on my game hunting at a local store. I got it for $15. I'm like, so we physical copy. I still need to pick up the physical US copy. And of course the other ones. The best part is every version has uh, stacking trophies. That's the best part is that you have four different versions to play. You have the Japanese, English, uh, the UK, and the Korean version. Each one with its own trophies if you love this game. Love it. Um, this is a rogue style RPG. Really excited to see what makes the Japanese version different than the US. And it's been forever since I played this. This is almost going to be like playing for the first time again. I think I haven't played this for about three years now, give or take. Anyways, as always, 10 minutes to play the game. First, I'm playing a version of On the Call. Skip anything. Let's get that timer started. Timer has been started. Wow. I was having issues over there. Okay. Why not? Let's see how bad I can do. Yay! I know. Saving. You got four save spots. Hooray. And of course, the saving's different. Ah, Always hate that. Since my Avita TV is a US one, the save menu is controlled by the X, but because it's a Japanese game, so <laughs> everything else is controlled the way in Japan. And it's logging me in. No! You've got to be kidding me. Alright, pause in the video. I shall be back. Because apparently my system, I forgot to update it or check for updates. So I shall be back. All right, we are back, and uh, that took me a little bit longer to do. Um, forgot to do a couple of things, so it took a little bit longer than I anticipated. My apologies. <laughs> well, you guys get the con time cut, so that's even better. All right, so I restarted the timer. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to start the timer now. All right, the timer has been started. And away we go. So we had to do the updates. I had to re-add my system to my thingy. Uh, uh, there's a lot of things. So anyway. Alright. What? What's going on? Where am I? Oh, Toza. Father. Vumpara <laughs> san. Ah. Uh, Almost there. Wake up, honey. Huh? What? Oh, Toza? I think her is a little different. Okay, so she's actually saying mother. Sorry, my bad. Wrong. Safara sensei, it's just you. <laughs> You can't just fall asleep just because you think you're special. What? I... Didn't mean to. It's alright. Just do better uh, staying awake, okay? It's very important that we train you properly because you have to battle. So stay awake. I'm sorry. Of course I'm going to fall asleep and embarrass myself. Me, the princess. Well, at least she wasn't that mad. As long as I listen, she might forget that I did that. What to do now? Um, I can't think of what to say. 
Just say something. Anything. <laughs> I was totally wrong. <laughs> what you say? <laughs> oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. Okay, so she's taking a she's taking a quiz. And she can't get the answer. So what she did was she rolled her pencil. <laughs> and the answer is number 2. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing, because that's what I just heard her do. <laughs> this always works. This is a great idea. I will surely pass with this. What? It only rolled the same one again? Oh, well, then I'll just use that one again, too. Oh, well. She can not use to do it! Okay, the test is now over. Turn in your papers. <laughs> please let me pass. Please let me pass. Please let me pass. Please let me pass. Are uh, you having trouble with the test this time again? Ah, uh, right. Oh, no. She saw everything, didn't she? You know, if you just study, you might actually pass without having to roll the dice. How did you do? Huh? You, you know, how did you see it? Huh? You just told me. It's very obvious that you had not studied for this test, you know. Next time, just study, okay? Not too hard to do, after all. It's easy. That's right. Maybe if I just study a little bit more. Are you two done talking yet? Poopara san? Come up here. Huh? 100 points. Not bad. Huh? You're so cool. Papa Ru? I can't believe it. Eh? Eh? Is there a problem? Yeah, I think you passed the test perfectly. Maybe you can show the class how everything is done, right? Huh? Huh? Hi. But luck is all you had, right? <laughs> now, now what do I do? How did this happen? Ah, so this is what we're going to be training for. That's right. This is the tower that you're going to be entering in to train and, and level yourself. Huh? Enter? Vipera son? Are you scared? Don't worry, Sensei. She's strong and I will be here to help her. Everything will be okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Kokora will help me out, right? <coughs> we can do this. We can so do this. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. Wow. <laughs> All right. MPG? Hey, um, forget what I just said. Well, let's go ahead and do our best to get as high as we can in the tower. Right, Sensei? Ah, who knows? Maybe I might do this. But we'll a sun might not. Are you sure you're ready for this? This might be a little dangerous. You don't believe in me? We could do this together and be amazing. If you say so, then I will definitely join you. 
Huh? Really? Are you worried? Nah, maybe. But don't worry. We're doing this for Senpai. I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> we'll see you our best. We're counting on you two. Do your best. Let's go. Hi! Itakimasu! Okay, here's how you do. You move around. You collect items. Okay, good. We got into the battling system. I always am worried whenever we see just a staircase. Okay, use the R button to make sure you'll be able to move these ways. Now, let's try to move. I'm really happy that they do the R like this because it really does help out. Anything over here? No. Nope. Okay. Yes. Let's move up to the next. I want to do some battling. Are you going to teach me how to battle? I'm running out of time. Okay. Move along here. Watch out for things. Okay. So far. They haven't given us any enemies just yet. Hmm. This must be secret pathways. Huh. Okay. Okay. Collecting items. They're very important. Make sure you use the triangle to open up your menu. Here's how you equip them. Yay. Item collecting tutorial. Yay. Let me go here. We equip those. Yay. And now we move on. Oh, the timer is just about to hit too. Bummer. And there's it goes the timer. Like I said, it's been a long time since I played this game. Sad to say. <laughs> it's just, it's what happens, you know. Um, my physical collection is almost at 3,000 games. And I'm trying to at least try play each game I have in my collection once with the 10 minute first impressions. I'm doing my best to get through it. Because there's other ones that have compilations and I'm trying to also play each game in the compilation um, because it's fun and I enjoy it. <laughs> then, of course, I have my digital collection, <sighs> which we... I honestly have no idea how big it is, but I've been play a part of PlayStation 1... or, sorry, PlayStation Plus since day one. Um, then you have... All the games I've gotten through Humble Bundle and Steam Cells and other cells for PlayStation. And then I got all the games I have for iOS, Android. You, you get the point. So it's been a while since I played this game. And also because the game I own is the digital English version. It's I think this game is a gig and a half. I think it's it's a large a uh, large file, so it's not something I like to keep downloaded. Um, and I like playing them physically. The good news is this one's a cheaper one to pick up. I think it's around $30. I'll to get a new copy, so I'm planning on getting the English version. But anyway, I really like how the game feels. The anim you know, the artwork is fantastic. It has some really nice music. And I like how the controls work. I especially like holding the R down and it automatically goes to diagonal movement. 
really happy about that. And it looks like when we're going to attack, it's going to be um, it's going to be X to attack with whatever weapon you're carrying, and then most likely circle or square will be magic attacks or whatever. And for those of you who have never played a roguelike dungeon, the best way to describe it is you level your character through the items you get. And then you can level up while in the dungeon. But when you leave the dungeon, your level goes back down to level 1. And you collect items within the dungeons to level your character outside the dungeon. But every time they go back into the dungeon, they're basically level 1. Another uh, thing about the rogue dungeons is usually, if not always, the dungeons are always going to be random. Now, there are a few roguelike dungeons that does not occur in, and those are the exception. But for the most part, it's almost always a random dungeon you go into. And once you die in the dungeon, you drop everything in your inventory... And that's the worst part. You have limited storage space in your inventory. And that's what makes it very hard. I'm liking how this one is starting to play. Like I said, I played it before, but it's like it's brand new experience because I haven't played it forever. And just in case there was anything different about the Japanese version, I like it. You know, I love having the different versions of the games if I can get them for a good price. So, I, I do enjoy how the game is already throwing us in, giving us tutorials about everything. This one's really giving us a tutorial on how everything's done. I played several other uh, roguelike dungeons. You know, Omega Labyrinth is a good example. Um, the Legend of the Unemployed Ninja is probably one of my favorites. I think th that one, yeah, that one's a really good one. And various others, you know. But usually they first throw us in and don't do a huge tutorial like this. So, it's one of those I highly recommend. Give it a try. This is a, a fun game. And it will definitely demand respect from you. And not bad. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there is four versions you can buy depending on which country you want to get it from. And... I mean, if you play um, the English version first, either the you not you know the U.S. one or the U.K. one, you can then go back and play all three versions and get four platinums if you really uh, love the game. And I love that because it gives you if it turns out to be a game I absolutely enjoy, do I have to play it in platinum all four versions? Then I have that as an option. It makes me very excited, and I really love that. So, <laughs> I, uh, I'm just excited to have this one back. I have a physical copy of my collection of this game. And eventually I am planning to get at least one more. I'm hoping to get all four of them. But you never know. So, it's one that I would say give it a try. If you're into rogue likes. it's always fun to give a new game a try. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me epically mess up on what the opening story was. I can't believe I messed that up. That was really funny. Um, and then just seeing, you know, um, how the game starts off. And I have to say, I th I'm really happy about how they're doing the tutorial. I think that's very important. Uh, for those who've never played a roguelike, this is a good one to start out with because it's showing you everything and will at least get you familiarized with it so question for this video is do you guys enjoy roguelike um games and which is your favorite this is really hard for me because i have uh i played several really really good ones and enjoyed every single one i played i don't think i've really had one that i've hated because the game is unfair or anything like that um, I still want to go with Omega Labyrinth as being my favorite one, 
just because it's the one I've been putting the most time into. I have the PlayStation 4 version and the Vita version, and they're equally as hard, and I think that's what I like the most about it is that it is an Ichi roguelike dungeon, which is insanely hard, and there's a lot of Ichi... <laughs> comedy on there that just makes me laugh my head off i think that's probably why is because of my sense of humor and the japanese ichi humor is something i just find absolutely hilarious and I, that game it just makes me laugh so much sometimes i'm just like oh my gosh oh it's it not a game for kids. I'm going to point, point to say that right now. Not a game for kids. Um, very um, mature art. But they keep it Austin Powers clean to what you don't ever see to, yeah, enough to where it'd be considered hentai. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I think that was my favorite uh, roguelike so far just because the game is so brutally challenging that I've only made it so far in the game, and I can't get any further, but thankfully, because it is a roguelike, the dungeons are different, I have the opportunity to go back after my characters are feeling better, and, if I'm lucky, get an easier dungeon setup um, than going into some brutal encounters which just destroy me. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite roguelike. I'd love to hear it, and if I haven't played it, have the opportunity to try it out. As always, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. This is Tisa Kruising. Ciao, and sayonara.